Black Clover's new anime season is going to be way better than the first one, even though the first one is already a classic as a new generation long running shonen, because this new season is going to have two major war arcs and it's going to have the final arc of Black Clover getting animated in it. So if you love the long running Black Clover anime like how I did, leave a like because this new season is going to be returning with more than 100 episodes because we know the Spade Kingdom war arc is going to be animated in this new season of Black Clover and this arc alone is going to be at least 50 episodes since the Elf Invasion arc was 79 chapters long and that was made into 62 episodes and the Spade Kingdom war arc is 71 chapters so we can expect it to have around 59 episodes for this arc alone and this arc is filled with so many epic moments like Noelle versus Vonica and Megan Kula appearing near the end of the fight in order to give it a spooky plot twist that none of us could have expected and you know unlocking his second grimoire in his rematch versus Zenon and finding out that you know has star magic because his parents had both sun and moon magic and then finding out that you know's mom is actually still alive towards the end of this fight and of course seeing Lucy Furrow manifest in this arc is going to be insane once that's finally animated so just based off the Spade Kingdom arc alone we know that a lot of epic moments are are going to be shown in this new season of black clover once it finally does get animated and once this arc is finished we will move right into the final arc of black clover which is currently ongoing in the manga and this arc looks like it's going to be at least 100 chapters long so we can go ahead and add another 80 episodes to this season of black clover once it gets animated so in total we're looking at around 140 episodes for this new season of black clover but if this anime comes out in 2023 which is likely to expect only the first part of the final arc to get animated with this new season which will make this new season of black clover around 75 episodes long with the content of also training in yami's homeland the land of the rising sun and lucius ogratis sending in his paladins to attack the land of the rising sun in order to kill off any potential threats to his new world getting animated in this season but if the anime comes comes out in 2024 which i'm starting to think will happen just so that the new season can animate the rest of the black clover all in one go then the final arc for Black Clover will be animated all in one season without splitting up like Attack on Titan because by 2024, Black Clover's manga should be finishing up. So this will give the anime enough time and content to come out and start animating without having to worry to catch up to the manga at all because the manga will already be so far ahead. And this will be epic because we'll be able to enjoy the final two major arcs of Black Clover all in one season and the final arc of black clover is setting up for epic conclusion to the story because we'll finally be able to see Asa's full past finally being revealed alongside with his father being revealed too and we'll be able to see another Uno versus xenon rematch because lucius is reviving the dark triad after they all took l's in the spade kingdom war and Uno versus xenon's fight in the spade kingdom war was my personal favorite fight in the whole series so i can't wait to see these to go at it again once they both do get brand new power-ups and we'll also be able to see Yami versus Lucius so gratis because Yami wants all the smoke with Lucius after he deceived him this whole time by making him think that Julius was somebody who he could trust and of course the final battle between Asa and Lucius will be an amazing fight especially now that Asa has fully mastered his brand new key power known as Zetan which is actually going to give him a chance to defeat Lucius in order to save the world so black clover's new anime season is going to be amazing because not only is it going to be at least 100 episodes just like how the last season was but it's also going to have some of the best moments in the entire series getting animated and the animation is going to be looking flawless since the anime won't have to worry about catching up to the manga at all comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out